Hi there, Mrs. Elke here. Today I wanted to do a fun optical illusion drawing. And so this is one I've actually wanted to do for a while with my art classes. And since we aren't meeting in person, I thought this would be a fun one to try. So today I challenge you to do the impossible triangle, okay? This is a fun optical illusion drawing and it works best if you add the shading as well. So I went ahead and shaded mine just with purple, but if you would like to shade it with uh, just pencil, that would work too, okay? So see if you can make an optical illusion triangle. It's called um, the impossible triangle uh, as well and shade it so that it looks like it just never ends, okay? Good luck with this one, have fun. And if you'd like to use a ruler, you might wanna grab that now as well, all right? Thank you so much. Please subscribe below to see more fun tutorials like this one. To start off my impossible triangle, I'm going to start with the regular equilateral triangle. If it helps, you can use three little dots, try to make them about equal distance apart from each other, and then you can connect them. If you want to use a ruler so that your lines are nice and straight, by all means do that. It'll probably make it look cooler in the end if you've got really nice straight lines. I'm just going to eyeball it for now and try to make mine as straight as I can. After you've got your main triangle, I'm going to extend my lines by a little bit right here on the top, making a slanted line. I'm going to go down on the bottom right here by making this line up a little bit longer. And then I'm going to go out on the left side like this, making this line a little bit longer. So now I've got those extended. Once I have that done, I'm going to add a new line. I'll start with this one, and the line is going to go a little bit farther than the, this little section that I just drew. So it's going to be parallel to the side, and it's going to extend a little bit farther than this line, okay? I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to make a line that extends a little bit farther than the one. It's about twice the size of this. So here's one, two. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to make this line extend a little bit farther than the line that I just drew, okay? Now I'm going to repeat that step again. So the one that I just drew, I'm going to go ahead and do one more that comes up here. And this time, it's not going to go farther. It's actually going to stop at exactly the same spot as the line from above. So that's equal distance from that, okay? So as I go down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to actually stop a little bit before that one, and the same thing here, I'm gonna stop a little bit before this one. I'll go like that, and I'm gonna stop right about there, so that it's about um, a little bit of an angle before this one, okay? And I'm gonna connect those with an angle. So you want this to kind of be an angle that faces in, you want this to be an angle that kind of faces into the inside and this should be an angle that faces into the inside, okay? So now we have our impossible triangle drawn. I'm gonna go ahead and color it to make it look more obvious. Now you can do whatever color you want. I'm just gonna pick purple for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the sections that should be shaded uh, darker than the rest. So. This section up here is supposed to be quite a bit darker, so I'm going to color this in like really dark by pushing down super hard with my colored pencil. That's a dark section. The section under here is supposed to be really dark, so I'm going to go ahead and color that super dark with my colored pencil. The section right here is supposed to be super dark. I'm going to color that super dark with my color pencil. And then the section right here is supposed to be super dark. So I'm going to go ahead and color that super dark with my colored pencil. 
All right, once I got my super, super dark sections, I can kind of start blending them in to the rest. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my original one and I'm gonna try to blend from dark to light on this first section here. So I've got dark, I'm gonna push a little bit lighter and then a little bit lighter and then almost hardly at all as I get to the end. So you can see I want it to be dark to light on this section right here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I want this to be super dark and then I want it to get medium dark and then a little bit lighter and then lighter. So every time I move up, I'm just pressing lighter and lighter with my colored pencil. Okay, same thing on this one here. I want to be dark to medium dark, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter yet, a little bit lighter yet. Now you can do this shading with just a pencil too. You don't need to use color. Um, and if you've got one of those little blending sticks, those are kind of fun to use in, in a project like this too. Same thing with this section. I'm gonna do dark, medium dark, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Okay, so we have two sections here, this one and this one that don't have any super dark darks. Um, so these are just gonna be kind of medium. I'm gonna darken this corner a little bit, but I don't want it to get super dark. So it's just gonna be kind of a medium shade. And then it's gonna stay pretty medium throughout. And then this one as well is just gonna be kind of a little bit darker on the bottom here. But it's gonna stay pretty medium as well. I'm gonna leave it pretty light at the top. Leave it like that. Now, if I wanna emphasize my darks a little bit more, I could switch to like a darker shade of purple or maybe I'll use a little bit of this darker blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more dark to my dark section. So those pop just a little bit more like that. Make it look a little bit cooler. So this is an optical illusion because no matter what, this, this triangle cannot really happen really fun to play around with this and you could actually get really fancy and do multiple ones that that uh, are connected. Maybe I'll have to do that in another tutorial. It's extra fancy. So this is a fun one if you're just starting out with optical illusions. Try it out and see if you can figure out how to make it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully your impossible triangle is believable like mine, right?